it's um, yeah, last drive time. Lives in the Wirral, so it's uh, 160 odd miles. Oh, Friday afternoon. No doubt the M6 will be its usual friendly self. Yeah. It's been a fun car though. I can't quite believe I had it in a year. But uh, yes, no power steering. And uh, yes, you. On when you come to stop, um, it's just a bit of a surprise the lack of power steering. If, uh, you know, whether it's uh, somebody wants on a griff, I don't know. But it's another complication. I heard things that they were always doing their hoses, um, bursting hoses. You'd have a pool of hydraulic oil. Um, so I, I decided not to go for it. The journey we're about to do is actually what this griff's really good at. It's very good at cruising. Uh, you know, dual carriage range motorway sitting at 70, 80. We'll be able to do it all day long. Um, but we'll go on a bit, bit yeah, a few more challenging roads on the way. I've got a great sort of cut through to the motorway. Um, and we'll just give it a bit more of a workout. I feel like I owe it to myself seeing how, you know, as I say, this is the last trip I'll have in this car. This is a great bit of road. Takes it down towards the Prescott Hill climb. Nice little run across the M5. Telling me that uh, 
this part there with the, the early days of McLaren bought one of the very first griffs when it first came out and uh, he couldn't work out why it, it didn't handle and uh, he took it into McLaren and Gordon said to me he's, they worked a couple of months on it and they um, they ended up putting it on their chassis rig because so they were trying various damper settings and spring settings trying to get more uh, travel various things like that and he says he just couldn't believe it was the it had the worst structural stiffness of any chassis he'd ever put on the McLaren rig so I think that's actually the problem is that the actual chassis itself isn't very stiff and whatever you do to the suspension you can't actually make it work as you want it to because it's not attached to something that is you know immobile you want really good um, chassis stiffness to make the suspension work but on the races the Tuscan races things like that they have that huge roll cage and uh, that, that makes it dramatically stiffer than the road going chassis like we've got here because it's a backbone um, tubular chassis with these outriggers but the outriggers don't really add stiffness all they add uh, it's structural to hold the body at the side. So if McLaren can't make it work, Gordon Murray and McLaren can't make it work, well I'm afraid there's no real hope. So yeah, I've just filled it up for the last time for the final, well, so the new owner's about half a mile away, I'll just drop it off at his house. Just, you know, easy run up the motorway, just what this thing, as I said earlier, does really well. I'm just thinking, well, yeah, what do I like about this car and what I don't like? And, some of, the, some of the things I haven't liked, or been a surprise really, is I couldn't run it all year. Um, I thought it was a really simple car. Um, it'd be as, you know, there's nothing really to go wrong, but it doesn't really like damp conditions. It doesn't like starting when it's really cold. It will start, but if you touch the throttle, you flood it, and it's always a bit, you know, a bit tricky. A couple of times, it just hasn't started on the key for no reason whatsoever, no idea, but that's, you know, character again I suppose TVR but it just meant you didn't quite trust it but then on the plus side I still love the way it looks I've absolutely adored this colour combination this dash is just spectacular I think with this metallic finish um, the fantastic roof the fact that you've got this convertible you've got this V8 burble everywhere you go um, dirt cheap to run forget about the engine rebuild that's a one-off but really good on fuel you know low 20s mid 20s cheap as chips parts um, if you get a good one like this one with no problems with the chassis this this won't take any money to keep running um, brakes don't wear out tires don't wear out because it's it's not heavy um, so it's been really good from that point of view and yeah it's a TVR and uh, I haven't you know the ride on the V rose was a bit of a surprise but then you've got that instant thrust of that five litre engine every time you press the throttle and you've got the noise and you've got the looks.